Hello, hello. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, how we open every month. So first we start with a reflection and we kind of go over what you achieved, what you didn't, what went well, and really all these questions are designed to help you pin down what worked, what didn't, and how you can make improvements or how you can mitigate challenges in the future. If you're not doing this work, you're gonna be missing out on growth, massive growth. So it may seem like busy work, it's absolutely not. It's purely reflective in a way that helps you hone in on how to improve. So absolutely do this work. Figure out if you're not meeting your growth and sales challenges, why aren't you meeting them? Um, is it because you know you set visibility goals that you didn't reach? Is it because you're not exactly doing everything you originally intended to do? Did you not um, pitch to enough blogs? What is it? What is it that's holding you back? And as you explore this, it may or may not always be the right answer, but you're going to hone in on what is the right answer, but only by doing this work. So absolutely do these work, keep track of what's going on, and then move forward into priorities. And this is the section where I mentioned, um, you know, when you're doing mapping your releases and preparing for, um, you know, pre-order sales and maximizing your release week sales and things like that, um, what you need to do each month to make sure that happens on, in accordance with uh, the timeline for your planned releases, this is where you come, you jump forward and pencil in everything you have for these projects in each month. And of course use a pencil because things change, but you can pencil in, hey, I need to do a blog tour here, or I need to uh, pump up my advertising in this month in order to make sure that I'm, uh, I have enough uh, pre-order sales, I can maximize those pre-order sales. Of course, just jump forward to this priority section of each month in accordance with that, um, the things you laid out in your mapping and planning your pre-order, or preparing your releases sections. And then your writing goal, I really leave this just very vague because everybody's got a different writing goal every month. It may not be words, it may be poems if you're a poet, it may be that you have a writing goal of actually editing a whole manuscript and completing revisions and going back and forth with your editor for a whole month. It, it may be that, but this is very open so this can be flexible. And then this, I really love this because it helps you really pin down what's most important. So what can you do in a particular month to make you feel most accomplished? So what can you get done that at the end of the month you'll be like, I did this one big thing and I don't care what else didn't get done. So, and then of course your visibility um, and growth goals. So are you going to increase your subscriber list or your social media following, or you're going to double your pitches to blogs or something like that? Whatever it is, write it down here so you have it front and center. You have it right here, very close by, where you can get to it so you can stay on track. Your advertising plans and your bu budget for the month. And then of course, anything else that you need to do, um, like if you need to, um, send five pitches and you need to send them by the 15th and of course you, you can just put 15 because it's in the month it's in the month section so anyway um, but you can write out everything you need to do here so that way you can say oh I need to go forward to this week and put that as a priority this helps you plan forward and fill forward so that when you open up a new week you're not just starting fresh you already have a very clear idea of what needs to happen next so absolutely um, this is all designed to help you and I hope that you will take advantage of these two sections